my news feed, otherwise she's going to get bounced. But, uh, you know, Tim, 10 years of training, MMA experience, 13 to 1 as an amateur, 4 to 1 as a pro, fought in Bell Bellator and King of the Cage, BJJ experience, not as much, competes locally, 3 and 0 in fight to win pros. His, his A game is just avoiding conflict. <laughs> Let's hear about Steve Peters. All right, uh, now Steve opponent. Peters is his opponent, and uh, he's been training since 2000 in Texas underneath of Mark Heckbush, Heckbush, however you want to pronounce that, until he moved to Colorado in 2013. He has Alliance Lineage Black Belt, but GF team now. Uh, most recently took silver at 2017 Vegas Open. He's a half guard and uh, butterfly guard player, loves the 50-50, and uh, Danielson, Pimenta will be cornering him. Tim Galuzzi coming out to his normal song, Why Can't We Be Friends? Yes. <laughs> he is actually also my attorney, and he does quite a great job. I was in court with him uh, last week. There he is. Green Dream sponsored athlete. And who do we have there cornering him? Mike Tusignant with some beautiful flowing locks. Dude, I don't think Mike's got a haircut in about four years, and he's looking darn good. Oh, the slap, and then he almost knocks him out with a gut punch. Professor Mike Tusignant, a new daddy. All right, congratulations, Professor. Now, so far, all of Tim's matches have ended very, very quickly on the fight to win pro stage. Yeah, he hunts that neck. Yes, he does. I, I rolled with him on Tuesday, and he beat me up. <laughs> yeah. A lot, of pe a lot of people don't know that he's actually blind. <laughs> I think he might have got his contact knocked out. So when Mike Tusing got got him ready, knocked a contact out, he may not be able to see what's going on. Beautiful. Can you take a knee? I don't think so. Now, is that Dana White over there? Yeah, I think it is. He's got that new talent. Tim's got really good wrestling. Steve Peters uh, corners calling for that elbow pass. One of my favorites. Elbow pass to high crotch. Thank you, Jared Mercado out of Mercado Martial Arts. Los Angeles Division. Los Angeles Division, now that he's moved. Oh. Well, he's got that nice underhook. We are actually working that today, underhook to the body lock. I would say look for Tim to uh, look for some kind of up. Never mind, there it is. Right into a guillotine, though, and he regains, keeps his composure. Ooh, going for a go-go, huh? I actually submitted Derek Alumba with a go-go plot of way back in our blue belt days. Those days are over. That's my claim to fame. Those days are over. Now I attack his heels. Tim doing a really good job of uh, getting himself out of that go-go. Back to their feet. Looks like there might have been a little bit of a headbutt on that. And now we have Tim down one submission, right? Yes. He's got that underhook. Beautiful takedown. Setting up that. Nice amounts of pressure from Tim. He's looking to stuff that head on him. Looks like he was looking for that mounted triangle. Professor Tusignan is imploring that Galuzzi don't lose the position and stays tight. 
Four and a half minutes to go. Tim is down one submission attempt. He's going to need to uh, attack something here. It looks like he's isolating that arm. Does a really nice job of scooping that arm up. Might see him move into a, a mount position. doing a really good job of keeping him flat and not allowing him to uh oh change his side beautiful winter wiper knee knee on belly looking for that arm triangle oh yeah oh Oof. and he settles in the mount so now they are tied up on submission attempts I think I hear uh, Professor Elliot calling for Tim to uh, attack his wrist to pull it off. You can hear Elliot from the parking lot. You hear Elliot from Mars. Yeah, he might actually be at his house right now. I still have never been invited to his one of his barbecues. He must not like you. I, I might have to agree. It's all right, I like him. Hit these announcers. Tim with the gift wrap. Yep. Now is he going to use it to try to take the back, or is he going to set up? Looks he's, like he's going to yep. take the back, yeah. He's moving in that direction. Steve doing a really good job, though, of keeping his hip up off the ground. A little over two minutes to go. Steve does a quick little roll into turtle. Tim's a little high, but he's doing a good job getting his legs in. There we go. Yeah. And he settles in. Body triangle. But as we've seen in the past, just because you're in this dominant position doesn't mean that the decision's going to go your way. You need to be attacking legitimately yeah. from here. In my eyes, they're, they're all caught up on submission attempts. You know, that was a pretty nice head and arm that, that Tim had, and that was a nice go-go that Steve had. But you never know. You don't know what the judges are thinking or what what exactly is going through their mind. Back to that body triangle. Some nasty pressure. Going to transition back in the mount. And again, sweeps and position mean absolutely nothing here unless they have equal submission attempts or no submission attempts. Minute twenty. Tim isolating that arm with the with the That's, back control. He's got that straight jacket. And he's got the rear naked choke in. That's in deep. It's looking good for Tim. A minute and 30 seconds. Are we going to see somebody go to sleep? Oh, and he Tim taps. Tap. Tim Galuzzi by rear naked choke from the back. Very nice. Yeah. Excellent job from Steve Peters. Amazing performance. That's why he's my lawyer. Rumor has it that his next matchup will be a 155 pound title match. Well, it should be. We're about there. Oh, okay, yeah, look at this. <laughs> oh! Number, number two. Two New Eastern Black Belts tonight. Very nice, Tim. Anna, don't you wish you were here? Tim is in disbelief of getting his black belt tonight. Now I don't feel so bad about getting beat up by him. They should turn back and face uh, Mike Columbus. 